Good morning. Today's Rambam, <coughs> Wednesday, Chavtes Tevis. is the Rambam Hilchus Shgogis. Hilchus Shgogis, Perik Vav, Perik Zayim, Perik Ches. I must say, not from the easiest Rambams in the Yad Chazaka. <coughs> so I'd like to take just a few short minutes to give two approaches to explain a uh, two halachas in in today's Rambam. Perik Shvi halacha halacha hey and halacha vav. The Rambam writes. So before we get to the Rambam, I just want to say a, a, a short introduction with which we'll be able to understand a little bit of what I'm going to try to say. In general, there's a there's a chiddush in Hilchas Shabbos that that there they have a separate chiyuv, a separate ablu, a separate mechayev, a separate uh, la einish, uh, um, however you want to call it, on each av, even though there's even though it's a general uh, iser, for example, at a person uh, to do malachas on Shabbos. So why do we say that each separate av has to have a separate hashara, a separate uh, chiyuv, a separate einish, or uh, Mechal Shabbos, Mechal Shabbos by cooking, Mechal Shabbos by uh, planting, etc. So it's a chiddush that Shabbos contains within it separate chiyuvim, so to speak. Um, we don't find this by other by other isurim, or we don't find that there's a significant um, chiyuv on this, or this, or, or it's a significant difference. Um, for example, arayas and machal sasuras, we don't we don't find that there's a different way of eating shrimp or a different way of eating uh, having different uh, um, uh, relations with uh, imay or chamaisa, etc. Imay chamaisa, the fifteen arayas, are included in the isser of arayas. Mashenk and Shabbos, it's a whole bit to do with shiluk malachas, etc., etc. So. That's number one. So the Gemara in uh, mainly in Klagodlin, Daf Ayin, etc., brings down three basic shittas or three basic approaches um, on how to how to understand or what's the source of the fact that we have different chiyuvim on Hilchashams. We have the um, the opinion of Shmuel that the source the source of the ribui melachas on Shabbos comes from the pasuk mechaleleha. So from here we see that there's different, many misas, many deaths, or many uh, ways to die on Shabbos. And therefore, if a, and if a person does those isurim b'shoigig, there's a ribuy chatis, ribuy karb machatis. That's the shita of Shmuel. We have the shita of Rabbi Yaisi that he learns from Parshas Chatas, the osa me'achas me'heinah. That there is isurim that come from the achas and heina and achas meheina. In other words, uh, certain uh, isurim like Shabbos and maybe even avodah contain, in addition to the general isur of Shabbos and avodah they also contain detailed isur. So those two um, are in, in the yarnim of sukim. The way they learn that from sukim, Reb Nassim learns. Rav Nassim learns the source that we have on Shabbos, that we have chiyuvim, separate chiyuvim on Shabbos. He learns it from a very well-known source. It says, Le'sivaru eish b'yeh ma'shabos, and that each, each malacha, havar al-chalak yasus, each malacha has a separate chiyuvim. Each malacha has a separate, uh, so to speak, maimid. And we learn from the well-known malachas to the lesser-known malachas, and... Uh, that you're obligated, that you're obligated on Yisurim Nifrod. So that's a general, a general, intro, a very short general introduction to the concept of the why on Shabbos we have different chiyuvim as opposed to, let's say, when it comes to Arayis and Machalas Asuras, etc. This will be relevant for a, a period that we're going to talk about in a second. So let's learn, let's learn the, uh, let's learn the Rambam. Uh, the Rambam Halacha Hey says, Ha'isa Av. The Toldes of Behelamachas. If a person does an Avnalacha, <coughs> Bishul and Toldes, which is let's say Bishul Bacham or Bishul Bacham, it's very Behelamachas. He didn't know. He, he, he made one, he, it was one 
foggy uh, state. He didn't know what, that he was, what he was doing or he didn't know that it was Shabbos. He didn't know that it was Aser, whatever it is. We have the Rolam and Zafarit at length in these Prakim. And the Chayi V'lachatas Achas. It's Adam. It's told that it's only Chayi one Chatas because it's it's one thing, one concept. Says the Rambam, we don't even need to say, a person does many toldos of one of, he only uh, is only chayv one chatas. Okay, the commentaries have a problem with this, I'm not sure I'll have time to explain it. What's the, what is the Rambam exactly trying to say over the in the Ein So, um, and then in Allah Chavad, uh, it says, As a tolda shall have zev, a tolda shall have zev. If a person does two toldas, a tolda of Mevashel and a tolda of, uh, of uh, Chaydesh, or a tolda of uh, Eifah and a tolda of Chaydesh, the Helem Achas, in one Helem, in one uh, foggy state of mind, he doesn't know, he didn't know that it was Shabbos, he didn't know that it was Aser. Yerali, this says the Rambam, it appears to me, meaning, as I said many, many times, when the Rambam says Yerali, it's because it's not so clear. Shulchayev shtei chatas, he's obligated, he's here, he has to bring two separate chatas. Okay, let's discuss this for a few short minutes, This these two rambles. So the the um, the, tait, the the classic Sefer on Hilcha Shabbos, as we all know, <coughs> is a Sefer Teitzah Chaim from Menachem Zemba, and on Simon Hei Oiz Beis, he has a chkira. He says, he wants to know like this, he says, chiluk, is chiluk malachis, the fact that we do separate malachis, is it because each malach has a different name, Shemis Mechulakim? Meaning, or or let's say more more accurate, whether each each malach has a separate lav, and not just a separate name, but a separate lav, and it's and as if each each um, each malach has a separate lav by itself, or whether we say it's gufim mechulakim. That it's separate entities. We, we're going to learn that, we, that if, for example, um, if a person has relations with with uh, a nida, or and and then five different nidas, even though it's the same iser, but nevertheless, since it's the gufim mechulakim, separate uh, bodies, separate entities, is chayiv is chayiv um, chamish. So the question becomes whether in the, in the Surah Shabbos. Is it because the malacha has a separate lav? It's a technical as- is aspect, or whether it's because it's it's a it's each each malacha that he does is I guess is chashuv, and it's like gufim mechulakim, and he brings the the Taitzis Chaim goes at length to try to say that there's a stira, is a stira in Rashi, uh, two places in Rashi where Rashi see in one place Rashi seems to say seems to indicate that it's gufim mechulakim. And that's why you have to, um, and, and, he, and he brings down that the source is and that's why you have to warn the person on each separate, um, uh, on, on the Av, uh, uh, when he does the Tulda, you have to, in order to be Mechayivim, you, uh, you have to warn him on its specific Av. Uh, and uh, he he wants to bring out that the, the fact that Rashi says that you have to warn the person when he does a tulda based on the name of the av shows that it's not mitzat gufim mechulakim. It's because shame is mechulakim. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna belabor the point, but that's his that's his raya. And then in another place we see that Rashi learns that um, that it's 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 all uh, it's all gufa and mukhulakim. So he wants to answer, he wants to answer that it's not a stira. How come it's not a how come it's not a stira? He says because because um, it all depends on on from which drasha you learn it out from. If you learn mm-hmm. out the drasha from that Havara is lav, uh, Havara l'chalik yotsis, Havara l'chalik yotsis. So each, each, each Hamalacha has a, has a shame b'fnei atzme. But if, if you learn it out from, from the, 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 the other limudim, it's gufim b'chalik. That's just a general introduction to what I'm about to say. The Rambam in, in the Hilchish Bagus Pei Zayin Halacha, Halacha Vav wants to say, the, the fa- what I just said, that if a person does two two uh, <coughs> two tul, uh, two of two different av, yearly he's chayiv So everybody asks all the time. 
the Kesef uh, Mishnah, Mamish, everybody shouts on the fact that it's a famous Gemara in Babakama, that Chayif Shtayim, what is the Rambam saying? Yirali, it's, it's obvious, it's open. It refers to the Gemara in two, in two places, in uh, Shabbos, Dach Tzadik Vav, and Babakama, Dach Beis, that in such a case, Chayif Shtayim. So he, the, 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 uh, and there's a famous sefer called Shtar HaMelech on the Ramam, he's Maidech on this, he's the, he's the big uh, speaker on this, on this subject. So, so, uh, one, one approach to answer the Rambam is that it depends if it mice in the Shradim or not. In other words, there's a, there's a possibility, there's a possibility that a person could do two acts that are really this, that are really similar acts, like like for example, um uh, 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 he's pruning he's pruning the uh, he's pruning the uh, the trees and also he needs the uh, he needs the wood. So they really it's really one act, but it's 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 a different uh, it's two different malachas. So he uh, one approach to to uh, to explain the Rambam is that if if there's even though it's two tuldas, but it's a similar maisa, there would be a hadamina to say that you would only be machai of one. Says the Rambam yearly that if you, if you do two tuldas and and it's uh, even though it's a similar even though it's a similar maisa, you're chai of shtayim. So now we can understand how how are we to understand this this Rambam. So he said, so based on the chikira of the teitzes chayim, we can understand the Rambam better. That by others. In other words, how, how could the Rambam even have such a hava I mean, to say that by two tuldes, if it's one Misa, you would you would still only be Machai of one, even though there's a Gemara Mufresh, it's not like that. How would the Rambam say that? Because if if, if you go by others, we have Shemus Mechulakim. That, and therefore, by Maisa, by one Maisa, which is like, for example, Zaymer, but Sarah Chayes and Chayev Beis, but tuldes, which is Gufin Mechulakim. That that we learn that uh, that uh, we, 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 we would learn out not because we can't learn out a tulda from from havara lechalikyos because that's only by anab the tulda we would only be able to learn from the other limudim of the psukim lechalala meisumas etc and chatas mehena so therefore you would think that 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 ma'isa echad you wouldn't be chayiv to comes the rambam and says that no that yearly that even even in two tuldas you're also mechayiv. In other words, the chiddush is that the Rambam compares, in this case, the tulda to the av, that um, that two two tuldas are are lechalik, even though that svarah can only be said by uh, by uh, by an av, and based on how we how we understand with the Teitzas Chaim, the havamina of the two ways to approach understanding the the separate chiyuvim, whether it's al shemis mechalakim or gufim mechalakim, that's how the Rambam, that's how we call the Rambam. Let's let's go to another approach. Uh Yoshi Ber Salavechik and Rashima Shiurim Babakama Amid Bayz has said something a little similar but different. He says like this the Rambam Hilchis Shkagis Allah Hey um, which we said before, so, so what does he want to say? He says the Yoshe Baron is typical brisker oifen that according to the Rambam, a tulda doesn't is not kevea chalais. No, it's not a shame if neatsme. A tulda, it's similar to what we, we we just finished saying. A tulda doesn't have a separate uh, shame, even though they're separate, but nevertheless, the only way we can appreciate a tulda, the only way we can we can um, understand or or give give importance to a tulda is when it comes back to the av that the tul- so he said he, he uses the words the 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 the, the vert of a tulda is that it's not an av an av has a separate a separate chiyuv a separate standing a separate importance but a tulda doesn't have that so therefore so you know so um, uh, so therefore a tulda is is so to speak nothing it's only biyachas to the av. So a a uh, that so we have exes akosiv that if a person does a a uh, an av and a tulda he's he's chayiv uh, uh, only chatas achas he's only chayiv one uh, because the uh, the av is paid to the tulda but but even though the svara would say that that if he does an av and a tulda it, it's separate it's separate chiyuvim uh, uh, he would be mechayiv too 
So now you can understand what the Rambam says, the Ein Sarich Leimar. In other words, in other words, the Rambam says the Ein Sarich Leimar is a tool the Har Bishal Avechem. Once you have the once you have the understanding that Ad the Tolda is a a a nechay belachatas achas, even though a pisvari you should be mechayev too. Now we can understand the Ein Sarich Leimar is a tool the Har Bishal Avechem because now that we know that the Tolda is quote unquote nothing without the Av. And the whole point is that it's bottled to the Av. So now we can understand the Ein Sarach Leima, what the Ramam says, that even if you do many tools, so one Av, you only chayib That's how he explains the, it's a Svarib Shuta that you need. He wants to bring out Taisus Argus, but we're not giving a share on Taisus, now we're giving a share on Rambam. And then he goes to the second Rambam. So it's very nice the way he explained this Ein Sarach Leima, that the whole Yisoyit um, of, of a Tulda is that it's, it's, it has no entity by itself. It's a chiluk v'lacha maybe, but it's not a, it, it's not a shame bifnei atzmei. Then he goes and explains the other Rambam, the next Rambam. Osa tul d'shal avzeh, v'tul d'shal avzeh, v'helem achas, nira li shuchayif shtechakas, right? So what's the Chiddush? It's gemara mufurashas. So no number one, even the Kesef Mishnah says, that could be the Rambam has a, a different girsa pashit, which, which is common. Nevertheless, even if you have a different girsa, my kamashul on this pshita, that when you do two tildas of two different odds, you should be mechayiv too. Why, why would you think otherwise? So, so based on what we just, how we just explained, that a tulda is not a shame bifnei atzmai. There's no, there's no entity of a tulda. The only entity of a tulda is that it's not an av. So you would say that since you know that that you you would think again the same point that even that that if you do two tuldas, it's like you did nothing because you didn't do the av. So that we're going back to the beginning of, of our shir, where 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 it, it becomes part of one general iser of chil shabbos. In other words, if, if you're if you're if, if, if you're taking the, the the perspective that that the tulda is the 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 of a tulda is that it's not an av. So if it's not an av, why would you be machai of two different things? You didn't do two separate pulas. You didn't do you, you didn't do two two separate shame because there's no chalei shame only by an av. Comes the Rambam and tells you, Italy, that that my, I, I feel my opinion that even though it's not a chalei shame bifnei atzmei, Italy or chayiv shvayim. Two approaches in the Rambam. Uh, like thank you very much.